Do you want to learn how to keep sex alive in your relationship forever? And not just, you know, barely alive, but really strong and flourishing and thriving and getting better and better with time and really nourishing and enriching you and your relationship for years and years and years. Now, let me tell you, it is not about making things new and exciting and always trying new things and always building sexual tension. These strategies don't work. They fail. And I will explain to you why. And you must be really tired of the same crappy advice to try a new toy, a new outfit, a new place to have sex, a new game, a bit of sexting. When you actually really care about your relationship and your sexual connection is really important to you and you know it is in real danger of fizzling out. So it's like nobody takes it seriously, right? Just giving you another fun thing to do to spice it up. So let me give you today the real solution, the real answer, the real key to keep your sex alive in your relationship forever. And later I will also give you a free download to the full system for relationship sex that works. So that's coming up as well. Don't miss out on that. I'm Alexi Welsh, and for the last 20 years, I have been teaching holistic sex, a new advanced practice of sex beyond what we normally see in the mainstream, uh, which is about a greater experience, richer sexual energies, more love, more connection, and a greater journey. And one of the things I've always been really passionate about is to really understand and research and create solutions for a long-term sex life that is sustainable and keeps flourishing with years. Because it always made sense to me that if we go through life together, our experience together in sex should grow better and richer and not dwindle. So in our culture, we always get the same advice, the same solution to keep sex alive in a relationship. We get told that you must make sure that things don't get boring, keep things fresh, keep doing new things, keep finding new things to try, new and exciting things. And this is a failed approach. It is obviously not working. And we know this because we know that people famously find it really difficult to maintain interest in sex in a long-term relationship. And yet this solution has been around for decades and everybody has been trying to fulfill it and it simply isn't working. And there is a good reason for that. Look, um, trying new things and uh, having new experiences is obviously very important for us. In the same way as going traveling sometimes is important, trying a new dish or doing a new thing on the weekend is important. In the right amounts, it fulfills our need for novelty, for exploration. We have that need, but it is not our only need. We have many other needs that we need to fulfill. And in a sexual relationship, it is the same. There are many other needs. Some of them are far more important than our need for novelty and exploration. So you want to do new things in your sex life uh, in the right amounts. And but the purpose of it is just to bring some variety and some exploration. It is not to be the single method to actually keep your sex life alive. When you're using that method to keep your whole sex life alive, you know, this becomes a completely different beast and it becomes a beast. We place ourselves in that part of our mind where we are just constantly bored and we need uh, excitement and stimulation and novelty and something flashy. And we start running our whole sex life from that place in our mind. We are not looking at our sex life anymore as a relationship, as a greater uh, experience, a greater enrichment, a more soulful experience, a greater value. We just start looking at sex as entertainment, as some excitement. It becomes essentially clickbait economy when it's not about the value you are getting, but it's just about getting engaged for five seconds more, just about something grabbing your attention. You can live your sex life like this as a workaround, as a patch, but it's just a very weak position. It's just a very poor way of running a sex life. It is very difficult, first of all, because it's just very hard to find something that is stimulating you so hard all the time, you know, like in any other entertainment. Uh, nothing holds your attention for more than a very short time, so you're always looking for the rest of your life. You always have to come up with new stimulus and it has to get harder and harder and stronger and stronger in more and more radical ways because your tolerance builds and it often gets to places that stop making any sense for the relationship, but you're doing this because somehow it turns you on. It doesn't actually feed your real needs. There's a difference between giving value and just, you know, engaging you and it's just engaging you without giving you value. So a lot of your real needs in a relationship are not fed by this kind of sex and it feels like this hollow chase, this hollow experience. And look, at the end of the day, the ultimate novelty is another person. And it's so difficult to beat that when your mind is just focused on novelties and not on real value, real relationship, real nutrition, real enrichment. And this is why so many people end up progressing to the ultimate solution in this approach of always looking for new things in sex they move on to a new thing with a new person in sex. So the real solution is not to keep for novelties in sex. The real solution is that sex has to give real value. 
true value to you. Sex has to give you something that is really worth spending time on it and putting energy into it. We simply won't do things if we don't know what value they give us and we won't do things that, you know, where we have to put a lot of effort into it but they give us very little value in return. If you spend your time on exercise three times a week it's because you know how much better it makes you feel in your life and how much worse you're going to feel without it. So the real question is not how I stay interested in sex, what are the clickbait I can throw at myself to be interested in for five minutes more. The real question is, why am I interested in sex? Why do I want to keep sex going? Why do I have sex? What is sex for? What does it bring into my life? What does it give me? What does it give my relationship? Why not just not have sex? Let it fizzle out, let it run its course, and then have a relationship without sex. But you really don't want to do that, do you? Why? What is going to miss from your life? Why are you so anxious to not let that happen? Answer this for yourself, and you will know what you need to create in sex, and then you create it, and then that keeps your sex life alive forever. So why do we have sex? Well, our culture tells us it's because we want to feel physical pleasure and fun and excitement. And a sex life that is based on getting pleasure and fun and excitement will die out. Why? Because we are just not finding it so valuable or motivating or interesting. There are so many things that are fun and exciting to do in our day and age. Many of them are much more so than sex, including our phones and Netflix, far more easily accessible than getting worked up in your body for it. Pleasure? You can go and have a quick wine, watch porn. It's going to be far easier than having sex with your partner. Sex is just too much work for a bit of fun and excitement. We feel that. That's why it's always at the bottom of the list. We never have energy or time for it. We always have other things to do. We always want to do other things. And it's not the real answer. That is not why you want sex. Because if it was just about fun and pleasure, you wouldn't want sex. You have many other things for that, but you really want sex. So that means that it's about something different for you. You really feel that it's important to keep it going in your life with your partner. And you can say what you want for casual relationships, but in a long-term relationship with your partner, you have certain needs and you really want sex to fulfill those needs. The value of sex in a long-term relationship is that it really feeds you with very powerful energies. It brings energies into your life. It brings true enrichment into your body, into your heart, into your soul. It brings nourishment. It is an experience of love with your partner. It is an experience of connection. So this experience of being fed by energies, nourishment, love, connection is the true value of sex in a relationship. And this is such a powerful energy in our life. It makes so much impact on ourselves and our well-being and our life. It is such powerful nutrition for you on every level and for your relationship on every level. It just feeds everything in your life and we intuit this without being aware of it. And this is why we really want sex so much. So you need to create that experience in sex that feeds you with those energies and nourishment and love and connection and doesn't just excite you. Fun and pleasure, they're gonna come in buckets together with it. You don't need to worry about it. They, they're just going to come attached. And look, of course, there's a place for true variety and sometimes you just want to have fun and exciting sex. There's nothing wrong with it. It's great and you will. But this is just one facet of many that sex needs to be for you in a relationship. If you create real nourishment, you will feel how much it feeds you. You will feel so much better in your life, in your day, in yourself, with your partner. You will feel that powerful enrichment it brings into your life. You will want to keep it going. You will want to develop it, to learn more about it. You will want to drink from it often because you will really feel the absence of it and how much better your life is when you have that energy flowing into your life. And it's probably going to be far easier than looking for novelties because novelties have to be so potent to drive your sex life forward. And the experience of nourishment can actually be quite simple and quite easy and really powerful. And it's not going to just keep your sex life going. It's going to actually feed your real needs. It's going to fulfill your needs. It's going to be aligned with your relationship with what you need. But you've got to really make that experience. It has to be a real experience that nourishes you for real with those energies, with that value. It can't just be words. You can't just say, oh, sex is about love and connection and nourishment. And when, then we're just kind of mechanically stimulating the genitals to orgasm because it's going to be very obvious that it doesn't deliver. The truth is we've lost our skills to create that kind of real value in sex because we've been focused on the orgasms and nothing kills a sex life faster than orgasms because it just makes sex completely hollow, serving that one intense sensation not creating real nourishment in the whole process of sex because that is where the true value is not in that one intense sensation. We turn the whole sex into this mechanical work. It becomes physically difficult. It's self-putting. It's a hollow experience. We've learned how to make each other come and we've lost our ability to create real uh, nourishing, valuable sexual energy in each moment. So it will involve learning new techniques and new approaches, but it's really worth your time because it's really going to change your life. It's going to save your relationship, but it's definitely going to be far more effective and have more longevity than always looking for new things to grab your attention for five more minutes. So that's what needs to be done. Now, if you want more help, I have a free masterclass for you about how relationship sex 
really needs to work, where I outline all the practices that you need for a complete full system for a flourishing, sustainable relationship sex. It's comprehensive, it's very detailed, it's completely free for you. Go and download it. The link is in the description below the video. And I really want you to go ahead and thrive.